Right, right. I will fight any of the top ten guys. I will fight anybody that's open to, to fight me that I will make some money on. And, um, you know, it's, of course, to my team that's the best fights out there. That's what I'm trusting them to do to put those together. I just know that I'm going to come 100% ready. And, you know, like, like a guy, Paul Williams, I had many um, interviews that I did that I called him out because, you know, I guess this is the kind of sport that you can't be a nice guy in. You got to kind of, you know, scream for what you want. And I, I say that I'm, I'm ready for close to a title that I will fight any one of those guys that, you know, get me closer to the title. Mm -hmm. All right, Peter, you had a you had a, a lapse in your career. Um, you didn't fight in 09 at all. Is the reason why you're moving to the West Coast is because of that lapse? No. Actually, just um, just the change in the environment, just a, a whole boxing scene. I, I went out there for a week, and it was just like I made that the decision uh, before I came back. I was on a red eye back to New York, and I uh, thought it would be a good change. I see guys out there like, you know, um, Robert Garcia, you know, he fought Margarito, but I, I see him in the gym, you know, and what kind of work he was putting in. And, you know, that's the type of stuff that I like to be around. And, you know, I know what I would take from going out there in L.A. and, you know, you know, from the different things that I can I can train in nice weather or, you know, have higher altitude and those kind of way. I'm just around the boxing atmosphere. And New York is it's good for media here, you know. A lot of media people here and a lot of you know, get your name out there because they are they really looking for a uh, New York fighter to come in and, and have New just like the Knicks, you know what I'm saying? I'm sorta of like that to New York right now. I I'm gonna you know, like I had eighteen of my fights out of the twenty one that I had here in New York and like I'm a crowd favorite here. Thanks, uh, Peter. Peter, what um map out uh, 2010 for us? So, uh, what would you like to do? Would you take a tune up first and then? Yeah, I would take it. I would like take a fight with Paul Williams the next fight if he would give me the opportunity. You know, like I, I'm that serious about you know knowing that I'm confident that a lot of what people don't understand. Like I'm a fighter, and if you're in a, in, a, in a pool full of sharks, the only thing you can look at yourself as being you know a, a guppy or a shark. I'm a definitely a shark. I'm just that different from all other sharks. I'm a great right there, just a hammerhead. Paul, he's been on the Twitter page talking about he's going to knock out. Uh, 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 Kai, who, you know, in all fairness, has, has been rocked and knocked out before. What do you think about, what do you think about Pauly's uh, um, implications? It's going to be a good fight. Pauly, now, um, i got to give him a lot of credit. He, uh, he, when he got rid of Buddy McGirt, who, um, who was a great trainer, but at the same time just wasn't made for Pauly, he has a new trainer with him now. He's been working well, and Pauly's got back to what, you know, made Pauly Pauly back in the day. Boxing well, using his legs, using his um, feet good footwork, a nice steady jab, and um, he has to use that to a full effect against Amir Khan when it comes uh, this coming Saturday for this fight. He has to use his tools to the full effect, always stay on the move, and he can't try uh, trading with Khan. But he has good enough boxing skills that, you know, he has a good chance he can do that. Um, that's what it really comes down to. Paulie has to fight his fight and stay disciplined. He's not going to try. You can't slug with him. Khan hits too hard for that. Mm -hmm. Um... He can try to go, you know, toe to toe, like I just said. And if he boxes and tries to stay a disciplined fight, could be a very interesting night. Definitely. Now, uh, Pete, you, uh, Freddie Roach, also trains Amir Khan. What do you have to say about this fight? Well, you know, I'm I'm a friend of Paulie's also, and uh, you know, I I just got respect for both of those guys, and um, I hope they take for what they need in that fight, you know, um, which is a victory. I know both of them coming in to take the victory, but for the most part, I know Paulie's going to be Paulie, and I don't know, you know, American so much. I seen him and I met him, um, seemed like a nice guy, but, um, but at the end of the day, he don't have to be a nice guy to me. He have to, you know, prove himself in the ring with Paulie, and Paulie been up in there with, you know, pretty tough opposition and proved himself, and it's it's not how you fight, it's, you know. Sometimes, in, in Paulie's case, it's how he lost against Cotto that made him the superstar that he is today. So, um, you know, I give him I give him that brownie point that he's been up in there with, you know, a lot of tougher opposition. He's always been on under, the underdog. Right. Now, in the boxing world last night, there was another fight that had some ramifications within the uh, boxing industry. Margarita versus uh, Robert Garcia. Margarita won, won a decision over rounds. What do you think about Margarita coming back, Pete? Well, you know... It's some mixed emotions about that. He is a fighter, and I know how bad he wanted to get in the ring, but what he did was wrong, you know? And I think sometimes you got to pay, you got to make example of those kind of guys that, you know, we don't need, we need to clean up this sport, you know, from from all different aspects, you know, from Floyd's point of view to, you know, having a guy, you know, tamper with his raps, you know, fight Peter, Actually, uh, Margarito kept saying uh, that he, he's not responsible for what's in his hands because he, you know, usually uh, fighters listening to music are not really paying attention when he's getting his hands right. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? What about when your, your trainer tells you how 
how your hands feel, you know, exactly. at the end of the day. So you do have some type of input. You are the fighter. You get to pick who you want to train with, how you want to train at times. So at the end of the day, you got to know what's going on with your hands because they're number one. And you're the captain of the ship, Yes, right? you are the captain of the ship. And speaking of hands, hopefully we'll get to see your hands uh, let go soon. Do you have sure. a fight? Uh, well, they try to plan something for maybe July or September. But any other time, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm walking around close to my weight all the time and I'm in the gym all the time, 100%. So I'm ready who's, who's out there for me. All right, guys. So you heard it here first. Pete Corwin, he's out there. He's ready to face you. Yeah. Guys, thank you for watching. Tune in to next week uh, when we're going to talk about the result of Mal and, and versus Khan. Thanks to our guest, Kid Chakra. Thank you for having me. Thanks for the panel. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Check us out, www.fightcitynyc.com.